seat. It's not a boat. Goodbye, this way. I think I might have lost our boat. about two minutes to board our boat and we are going on a two-day slow boat cruise through the Mekong. We did book a VIP cruise which is slightly outside of our normal thing but should be really fun and we're really excited to see the Mekong. Good morning. You have your name Chris? I'm Ashley. Hi. And Mike right here. Ashley and Mike. Mm -hmm. Okay cool. boat right now. Uh, it is really nice. They've got a bunch of booths. They've got some day beds so you can take a nap it looks like if you want to. It is a little bit chilly on this boat and it's windy so sorry I'm switching. But they gave you little blankets which is really nice as well. There was a little bit of confusion. We reached out to our guide and asked if we could pay with PayPal uh, since we didn't have I don't even know how many hundreds of thousands of kip we would need for <laughs> to pay that. Um, and he told us yes, no problem, but unfortunately once we got on the boat, we were told that we needed to pay in cash. So we're not really sure what to do about that because we don't have enough on us. We're gonna roll with the punches and try to enjoy these beautiful views. It's a gorgeous day out. Hopefully it'll be fun. just figured out payment. We did end up paying in cash. We paid most of it with whatever bot we had left over and then the remainder in kip. So it doesn't leave us with much kip left over, but I think we should have enough to get by hopefully. We just had a little introduction from the tour guide. He's really funny. His name is La. He told us about the uh, about Lao, actually. How many people live here, where they live, what they're called in the different regions that they live in. Um, it's interesting, they separate it by where people live in relation to the sea level. What you guys are seeing right here is Thailand, and right here is Lao. But in about 30 minutes, we'll only be surrounded by Lao, so. Kind of fun. It's a really beautiful boat ride. We've seen some cows, we've seen some water buffalo. Uh, apparently there is a pink water buffalo in Laos. I like learning about the places that we are. So we are on this super windy slow boat. Driver knows what he's doing. La, our tour guide, is hilarious. We're gonna stop off at a village here in a little bit and then get some lunch. But we're just enjoying the scenery. Definitely, definitely bring a jacket. A light one, nothing crazy. at one of the villages. I'm not really sure why actually. We're not getting off the boat, so I'm not sure what's happening right now, but it is really beautiful here. The sun has come out, so it's starting to warm up a little bit, thankfully, because, oh, it was chilly this morning. And it's about 11.30 in the morning, uh, so we've been on the boat for almost two hours now and it's it's honestly flown by i was a little concerned being like oh my gosh we're gonna be on a boat for seven hours like that's a long time i also get fairly seasick but this is a breeze it goes a lot faster than i expected it to but it's really nice and our tour guide la is absolutely amazing he's hilarious he's sharing so much good information uh, he's actually talking to the uh, other passengers now just letting them know um, what falong means and you know just all of this other information that we wouldn't otherwise know so 
can't recommend it highly enough. Uh, if you guys get the chance to do the two day slow boat cruise, definitely recommend it. It is pricey, uh, but so far it seems worth it. So we're happy. So we just got to the, the village that we're gonna check out. Uh, there's goats, which is awesome, because we love goats. Boats back behind me, we got boats and goats. As per usual, I'm always the straggler. traditional Lao food and then barbecue chicken wings. There's pork and chicken larb, stir fried morning glory and vegetables. Mm -hmm. Looks like a pork ball soup mm -hmm. with clear broth and then yeah, rice. It's really good. The lunch is included with the tour package which is really awesome. The beer Lao is only 25,000 kip which is $1.45 so pretty solid considering we're on a luxury cruise and we get some of the most beautiful views I've ever seen of anywhere on the planet <laughs> while eating food. <laughs> and we just went to a village that was it was a questionable experience for us you know what i mean like it was really interesting to see the way people lived but it was definitely <laughs> not our type of tour we would normally go on scenery is amazing. I can't imagine living out here. These mountains, there's something about them. Now I know how Dr. Jones feels. first day of our slow boat cruise. What do you think? If tomorrow gets prettier, then I just have no idea what to expect. <laughs> it's just unreal that we're here. I remember sitting in North Carolina in this little house we had and we were watching a combination of like... like a, it was like travel videos. Yeah, like travel videos like on History Channel. And, and also um, river monsters with yeah. the giant catfish, which yeah. we literally are like here, yep, where they are. They which, could be below us right now. Yeah, like literally the only place in the world, well like the Mekong, but like, and here we are. Like it's just, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. 
can we walk. Can walk. Really Just keep going up there okay. until you will see the um, ATM machine on your left hand side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you turn right. Okay. You turn right and keep going walk and then you can see. Okay. That's over there. Awesome. Thank cool. you so yeah. much. We'll see you at 7.45 tomorrow. Yep. All right. All right. All right. Ready? Yeah. Bye. Take care. Come Jerry. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, so day one of our cruise was a success. We made it to Pakbang. So we're going to walk to our guest house now and probably call it a night. I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna try and find a sweatshirt or a hoodie. Super small little town, looks cute. The guest house that we picked, we had to walk through a watt to get there. We would have never found it if it wasn't for this nice older lady. It was basically yelling at us, no, 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 you can't walk this way. But I think we found it now. It's down this dirt road, through a watt, and yeah, I think, yeah, that's what it says. Janya Pone Guest House. Hello, Sabadi. All right, here we go. We're gonna get settled in. Jai. Jai. Look at this place. Where are we right now? Oh man. I'm so glad we're here. We made it just in time for the sun to set. So it is a beautiful morning. The chickens are crowing. The Mekong looks gorgeous. We just checked out of our guest house. Coldest shower in Southeast Asia so far. On the coldest morning in Southeast Asia so far. But we've got another beautiful day on the Mekong. We're gonna go meet our boat right now. Hopefully we've got enough time to grab some pastries for breakfast because they look fantastic. Ashley is lapping me right now, so I'm going to try and catch up. It's a very chilly morning, but it's absolutely beautiful. And we've got our warm coffee and our delicious French pastries, French Laos pastries. It's gonna be a beautiful day. We've got about eight and a half hours on this boat before we get into Luang Prabang. And uh, I'm very excited. We're gonna go visit one more village today, and then we're going to the, I think it's the Pak O Cave. I'll have to look that up, but we're going to a cave today too, so that'll be fun.
there's a, a lot of people to greet you when you walk in uh, to the village for the first time and they've got a lot of scarves and handicrafts that they want to sell so I will likely finally buy my first scarf in Southeast Asia here. <laughs> really good. We've got some bamboo with glass noodles. Uh, it looks like some yellow curry with rice and then we've got our pork soup and watermelon. There's another ship about to pass us. Let's wave. Yeah. We're having ship wars. Battleships. <laughs> They're beating us. <laughs> I'm pleasantly surprised. I tried the bamboo with the glass noodles and I honestly wasn't expecting to like it. I don't know why, I just, I don't know. I don't like, um, what are those, water chestnuts? And to me, I thought the bamboo was gonna be like a water chestnut. Yeah, it's really good. It's like one of my new favorite dishes now. So I will absolutely order it from a restaurant if I see bamboo with glass noodles. I don't know what it's called, so if anybody knows, please let me know in the comments. How's lunch? So it was better than yesterday. Yeah, it is, I agree. Yellow curry and fried bamboo. We did some damage. Yeah, we did. Beautiful here.
is our boat. I think this is our boat right here. Um, no. Maybe this is our boat? It's not our boat. Come this way. I think I might have lost our boat. It's really beautiful. It's kind of sad though. They've got a bunch of these birds in these tiny little bamboo cages. And our tour guy said he doesn't support us buying them, which I wouldn't do anyway. But he said uh, that the thought is, is that you purchase them to release the birds suffering, but then they catch them again and they suffer more, which is why he doesn't support it. That's our boat. They're up there? Oh, oh no, I lost them. <laughs> All right, so I lost our group, but I'll go find them now. The Buddhas were brought here during the Vietnam War to keep them safe, and now people bring the Buddhas to here for good luck. So the higher your Buddha is in the cave, the better luck you have. I feel really bad. There's this little, there's this little boy that's following me up the stairs, but I've lost Mike and I don't have my money. I would love to buy a bracelet from him, but I gotta wait for Mike. So hopefully he knows where we are because he keeps disappearing for pictures. Mike and I are always the last ones <laughs> on any tour that we do because we're always trying to capture all the content. So we're trying to run. <laughs> we're almost at the boat. But holy shit, can you guys like, can you see this? It's like, oh, beautiful. All right, we gotta go. Okay, but seriously, is this place real life? Because it doesn't feel like it. Like, it's just so beautiful. I can't even, I can't even show you guys properly. It's just beautiful. <laughs> bright so we're rude and we have our sunglasses on but the sun is going down and uh, our little cruise here is slowly coming to an end now we're sad that mm -hmm. it's over like this ragtag bunch of Mekong pirates has kind of become <laughs> like a small little family for us for two days and La our tour guide has been amazing and all the people we've met on board have been amazing we've had great food and great times and great views holy hell yeah it's been a wonderful experience. Yeah, and uh, we can't recommend it enough. Check out Nagi of Mekong. And we just hope you're fortunate enough to be able to have La as a tour guide <laughs> upon this lovely, lovely vessel. 
All right, so the light keeps changing, so we're gonna sign off now, but if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It really helps us out. We love your support. We love communicating with you guys. Leave us all the comments. We respond to every single one of them. And also check us out on Instagram, at Mike and Ashley Travel. It's more of a behind the scenes, real time look at our travels and our adventures. Thank you guys so much for everything. We're gonna enjoy the last couple minutes we have on this, and uh, we'll let you know when we get to Luang Prabang. for the last two days on the Nagi of Mekong. Mekong Riverboat Cruise is officially over. We made it. Luang Prabang. Ah!